Hello and welcome to Spreadco's video update for Thursday the 2nd of March. Crude oil's down today, it's down about 1% both WTI and Brent. Just last week it was seen to be breaking up uh, above a resistance levels or two resistance levels, one's for WTI around $54, one for Brent around $57 and these resistance levels had held uh, pretty much since the beginning of December. Um, now Back then, of course, we had an oil market which was reacting to the news that OPEC and non-OPEC producers had agreed to an output cut. And this output cut uh, was 1.8 million barrels per day, uh, of which OPEC was going to um, cut 1.2 million barrels and uh, other non-OPEC uh, countries uh, 560,000 uh, 560, uh, barrels. Now, We've got some of the latest data up on compliance and actually it's pretty good and it's one of the reasons why oil um, has been doing so well and did so well uh, last week in particular. Um, first of all, compliance for OPEC countries uh, was running at anywhere, depending on whose figures you took, um, between 80 and 90 percent in January, but now that was up to 94 percent for February. Non-OPEC, not so hot. In January it was down uh, below 50% but it has come up since then uh, in February to 60 to 66 percent but overall uh, the compliance rate is about 86 percent now uh, as far as the, the market's concerned, that's pretty good because looking at OPEC back in the day of uh, when it has was had quotas, uh, compliance only ran at around 60%. So this is this is seen as quite a good result. On top of that, another factor supporting oil is that OPEC members have suggested that they might want to push the agreement beyond June to the end of the year. So we're talking about a longer period for these output cuts to come in. Uh, also, there's a suggestion that the cuts may be deep. So again, and these are all factors supporting the oil price. Now, on the flip side to that, of course, and this is something that everyone talks about right, at, uh, right from the word go before the output cut was even agreed, was the fact that the US isn't part of uh, any of these agreements. And as, US, as the price of oil rose, uh, this became more attractive for US uh, producers, especially in the shale oil area, to increase production. And that is exactly what has happened. We've got US inventories at record levels, as are global inventories at the moment. Uh, we see the rig count is up for the sixth successive week. And this is, these are figures calculated by oil services uh, company Baker Hughes. And we see that the, uh, the oil rig count is has nearly doubled since it hit its bottom back in uh, May last year. So all this is suggesting that actually there could be a cap on the oil price because as, as, as the oil price gets up to the mid 50s or even tries to push it above that we have extra production coming online. Now, from a technical point of view, you could say that uh, what's been going on is oil, in oil is that we've had a, sort of something called an ascending triangle forming. And that really is where you have prices um, coming up and the, the actual ranges in price is narrowing, but you've got a horizontal line of resistance. Now, unfortunately, with that kind of chart pattern, it's difficult to know how it can resolve. Sometimes it can resolve with a big move to the upside, sometimes to the downside, we just don't know. But some things to consider. Um, long, speculative longs are at record levels. What does this mean? Well, it means that, it, it, it means that we could, speculators could go longer, they could carry on buying, especially if there's a, another breakout of resistance to the upside. But it also means that it wouldn't take much selling to scare people out of the market, and that can cause an avalanche uh, in terms of uh, a sell-off. And one thing more to consider is if we did see a big breakdown in oil prices, that wouldn't be good for the equity market. And that could be one of the things which upsets equities going forward. It's a big if, we don't know, but it's just something to consider. So if you'd like to have further um, updates from us, uh, please don't forget to subscribe to Spreadco's YouTube channel. Thanks.